Eucharist this seventh Sunday in ordinary time. Jesus affirms that, the only, that only by being compassionate, forgiving, and loving can Christians break the shackles of violence and revenge that imprison the soul. His challenge may seem to be beyond our human capacity, but he reminds us that our model and strength is the Heavenly Father who is compassionate not only to the just but to the sinners as well. May the spirit of mercy and compassion help us to live as sons and daughters of the Most High by following the teachings of our Lord Jesus. Our praise presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Alex Balatgat. Let us all rise and greet our Mass celebrant and let us glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song. the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So my apology for being late. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God our Creator, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Savior, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. God our destiny, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the, the highest, highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son, Son of, of the, the Father, Father, you take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. us. You take away the sins, sins of the world, receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated, seated at the right hand, hand of, of the Father, Father. have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Although King Saul wants to kill him, David shows stability of character by sparing the king's life when he had a chance to take it. David's gesture prepares us for the preaching of Christ in the gospel. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Ziph with 3,000 picked men of Israel. 
to search for David in the desert of Ziph. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade with a spear thrust into the ground at his head and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, do not harm him. For who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head, and they got away without anyone's seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. He said, here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I would not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Because of the sin of the first Adam, humanity was estranged from God and became subject to corruption. But through obedience, Jesus, the new Adam, becomes the source of the spiritual life for all, the second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural than the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, Offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. <clears throat> A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Marami na ngayon ang nagagalit, ano? Hindi lang sa politika. Kahit sa simbahan, ang daming nagagalit. Hindi lang laiko. Kasama ang mga pari at mga obispo. 
sabi ng demonyo, magalit pa kayo ng magalit. Sige, magalit kayo. Para marami na tayo. Parang napapalitan ng kultura ng ang pag-ibig ng galit. Galit na galit. Kaaway na dadagdagan. Reason valid. Inutangan ka ng kapitbahay mo, tinakbuhan ka. Kinaibigan ka kunwari sa fees, tapos uutangan ka lang pala. Hanggang sa bigla na siyang mawawala. They will even use the name of love to enslave your heart. They will even use, you're my brother, you're my sister. But they have different motives. And suddenly, you, the victim, get angry. Akala ko sa simbahan, mababait. Pero bakit ang daming nanloloko? Pagtalikod mo, buhay mo pinag-uusapan. And that happened in the church. Pope Francis is saying, gossipers are terrorists. Pinapatay kang unti-unti. At nagaganap yan sa pamayan ng iyong kinabibilangan, sa simbahang iyong pinupuntahan, galit, puot, panghahamak. Akala ko ba ang panawagan mahali ng isa't isa? And now the gospel is teaching us, reminding us of who we really are. Your power is not anger, Your power is not revenge. Your power is love. Kung maraming nanloloko, conquer these people with your love. Do not be like them. That's why the Lord is telling us, forgive. Forgiveness is an act of defense for you not to be consumed by these people. Alam ninyo, nakakatakot ito. Nakakatakot. Lalamunin ka ng iyong galit. You will become what you hate. That's why the Lord is telling us, forgive. Go back to your power. Redefine yourself. You are God's children. Children of the Most High. And what is the character of the children of the Most High? No other than love that even enemies use the power of love. Nag-uusap kaming mga pare. Alam naman mga pare, pa nag-uusap, walang natatalo. No? So, you know. Uh-oh. Maraming mga program ang government that are against our moral standing and principles. Kulang na lang ihamakin kami. Okay. Kulang na lang ipapatay ang lahat. But I told them, maybe his position contradicts our belief and way of life. Question, why are we angry? Why are we angry? And the more we get angry, the more we prove that He is right. Conquer. Conquer evil with love. Conquer evil with your power. He who angers you, conquers you. Your power is love. Ewan ko kung nananalo ang kaaway. Kapag ang miyembro ng simbahan 
dumadami ang nagagalit. Nag-aaway. Pero ang pinag-aawayan, kaliit-liit na bagay. The reading today, especially the gospel, is reminding us of our true identity that we are children of the Almighty, children whose power is God, who is love. Pag-ibig ang iyong kapangyarihan. Pag-ibig ang ibig sabihin ng ikaw ay mabuhay. Pag-ibig ang ibig sabihin ng anak ng Diyos. Do you want this country to be beautiful? Love. Wala ka napansin, pinag-aaway-away tayong lahat. Ako din maraming kaaway. Binibilang ko nga eh. Yung mga may big time na kaaway, may small part-timer. Sampo ang kaaway ko ngayon. Sinong mas marami sa atin? Kanina tatlo. Tatlo. Tinatakbuhan ako, nagpapagawa ako ng retreat house. Pangako niya, gagawin niya yung altar. Binigay ko yung pera. Tatlong buwan na wala pa. And I called him, I am angry. I'm angry. But I need to love you because I don't want to be like you. Siyempre nananakot din ako. Just talk to my lawyer. Patawad po. Pinatawad na kita. Pero ibalik mo na lang yung 100,000 kung wala kang maibaybigay. Sa bagay ang kausap mo dyan, hindi ako. Ang kausap mo dyan ay ang mahal na biyaya. Tingnan ko kung makakatulog ka pa ngayon. Kung minsan dinadaan ko na lang sa tawa. Kung minsan yung galit natin, valid. Valid. Kaya nga pinagtatawanan tayo ng mundo, Bakit nagpapatawad tayo? Hindi yan ang kultura ng daigdig. Pati si Pope Francis hindi maintindihan. Remember, Pope Francis is saying, Open the doors, my dear European nation. Welcome the refugees. Hey, that's a nightmare to us. Papasok ang mga kalaban ng mga terrorists. Kaya sumasabog lahat kung saan-saan sa Europa. Pope Francis na babaliw ka. Open the door. Kapag umibig ka, manganganib ang buhay mo. Sa pagkatang pag-ibig, pag-aalay ng sarili. Kahit niloloko ka na ng kulubi, kailangan mo siyang tulungan. Kahit minumura ka na ng lahat, kailangan mo silang mahalin. Sapagkat ikaw ay kristyano, ikaw ay kapatid ni Kristo, na ang tanging kapangyarihan mo, pag-ibig. Pasensya na. hindi ko naiintindihan ang pinagsasasabi ko. Siguro nga kaya pari ang nagpo-proclaim ngayon. If you want to know the subject, you have to teach it. 
Kaya siguro paulit-ulit kong sinasabi ito. Una kong tinuturuan, pagkatao ko. Panginoon, sampu ang kaaway ko ngayon. Sige, pangako, bukas, siyam na lang. Again, Jesus is reminding us of our power. The gospel is rekindling the power in us. Love. Love. I received a, a, a message from the Facebook. I was struck by it. Jesus leaving the 99th ship Searching for one is senseless, irrational, meaningless until you realize that you are that one. Amen. I believe in one, one God, God. Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May the Holy Father Francis, bishops, priests, and all church leaders mirror the unconditional love of Jesus who seeks out the lost, the weak, and the stray among God's flock. We pray. Lord, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May our political and civil leaders work to fight against the culture of death and become instruments of healing where injury exists. We pray. Lord, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May the sick, the handicapped, the depressed, the elderly, and those who are in great pain because of injustice find healing and support through their families and leaders of their communities. We pray. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. May we receive the sacrament of reconciliation often and believe in the power of forgiveness so that we in turn may become more compassionate and forgiven. We pray. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. In a very special way, we lift up to the Lord and pray with great love, people we consider to be enemies. At this time, I want you to remember the people who hurt you and those whom you hurt. Today, we pray for them. Today, we decide to love them more. Today, we open the possibility to start a beautiful relationship with them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Please be seated. We will now have the offering of the bread and wine, symbols of the fruit of our hard-earned labor of the week. Please join in singing of the offertory songs.
Grace, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son. By those obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace you be. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Milo, Hubert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, in a very special way, Lord, we lift up to you all our enemies, people who hurt us, and those whom we hurt. We pray for the ISIS, for the terrorists, for the drug lords, for the pushers, for people who kill our brothers and sisters. Today we decide to love them more. Today we pray for them. Remove the anger in our heart so that we can truly pray. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Peace near. Behold, Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 
happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you. The storms of life, they come, and the road ahead gets steep. I will lift these hands in faith, I will believe. I'll remind myself of all that you've done, and the life I've had because of your son.
let us pray. Lord, may the sacrament we receive bring us to eternal life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Let your children experience learning while having fun and trust them to the kids' ministry while you listen to the talk right after the Mass. Look for Liz, Zhang, or Trishan at the reception area outside this venue. We would like to invite all the youth ages 12 to 21 years old for a youth gathering after the opening worship later. Please proceed outside this venue. Youth leaders are waiting for all of you. Please stay after the Mass as we will be finishing the talk series Looking for Mr. and Ms. Wright, Solving Our Relationship Disorders. Talk to is disordered purity. You're more valuable than you think you are. And let's give a round of applause to Father Alex Balakbat for celebrating the Holy Mass with us tonight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Most Amen. sacred heart of Jesus, Have mercy immaculate on us. heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. So I am inviting you to use Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. It is open now for all of us. Now you are most welcome. So thank you for your help. We are now on the construction of the third building. Three floors with 14 rooms. No? So para dumami yung mga pupunta doon. Kakasya tayo. So thank you for your continuous support. And uh, I believe that you know God will never be outdone in His generosity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
자수성각 또라이형 여자들이 수수룩 짱짱하다고 이때까지 먹여주고 길러준 것만도 감지덕진데 그렇게 못해줘! 
and sisters, we're going to continue to worship our God. But sometimes, Lord, we, we tend to shy away from God because we're so ashamed of our brokenness and of, our, of all our past mistakes. But I want to remind you that our God meets us where we are. Our God continues to call us not because, not because we're perfect, no, not because we're, we're the best, but because, because He loves us just, just because of that. And I want you to remember that sometimes these, these cracks, these cracks are there because it allows His light to shine through us. So we're going to worship with this song. All these pieces broken and scattered in mercy gathered when dead and cold empty handed our love forsaken I've been set free I've been set free amazing grace 
Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray that you may just dwell in this place tonight, Lord, here, here in our hearts. Till the soil of our hearts, Jesus. So that your word may be firmly planted in it. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give the Lord the praise he deserves. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's thank our worship leader, Isa, and the music ministry. Napansin niyo yung drummer natin? Hindi na bata. Babae. Batang babae. <laughs> Yay! Year of the youth talaga, no? Woo! We have such a young crowd here on stage. I feel so young. <laughs> Thank you. Um, our, our third talk uh, in this series of Looking for Mr. and Miss Right, it's Disordered Purity. I know the talk is gonna be wonderful. Ask me why? Kasi dalawang beses ko na itong pinagpraktisan sa Tuesday Feast Salcedo at saka sa Wednesday Feast Salcedo. The crowd there is amazing. All in all, 1,123 people attended there. Ka Kadistrict natin yung mga yan. Grabe. And 90% of them, I think, were youth. Nung tinanong ko kung sino yung mga married, isa lang ang sumagot, si Jan, yung feast builder nila. Diba? It's a, a really, really young crowd. Um, but really, God is moving powerfully through the feasts um, in churches all over the world. Churches in Europe are becoming museums, becoming concert halls. But here in the Philippines and here at the feast, our population is so young. Grabe! That's really something to thank God for. Amen? Because if our community is young, that means our community is growing. Amen? Amen. So, to, yeah, come on, let's give the Lord. Hindi po madali. Hindi po madali magkaroon ng mga bata sa mga prayer meetings. In fact, I know this for a fact because the priest that um, Cardinal Tagle, Cardinal Chito assigned to new evangelization, he was telling me, you have to teach us. The feast has to teach us how to get the young people back to church. Imagine the bishops are looking at the feasts, at our feasts, and they're saying, we need to learn from you because we need to get our young people back to the church. We need to get the millennials back to the church. Amen? So let's just open ourselves, allow God to use us today, and let's, let's pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. As we say, today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let me tell you a story. Um, a few years ago, my father passed away. And um, for like a couple of years after his death, his house remained as it was the day he, since the day he died. Because um, all of us um, siblings, you know, we were already married. We'd, uh, we had our own homes. My brothers were already living abroad. So walang tumitira doon sa bahay ng daddy ko. And then ang nangyayari, pinapasok siya ng mga magdanakaw. Kasi walang, walang nakatira eh, di ba? Until we just decided... Um, that we would sell it because we couldn't maintain it. And, uh, you know, it was falling apart and um, burglars were coming. So we put it up for sale and our, our neighbor said that he would buy it. 
And then, of course, you know, things weren't smooth. Uh, uh, there, there was a lot of delay. But our neighbor was said, it's okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. And, you know, he did wait. You know, uh, I think we, we completed the sale like a year after. And, um, but after we sold it to him, tapos na, you know, deal done. And that was that. And we were so relieved because we didn't have to maintain that property anymore. And then a year, uh, like shortly after the sale, maybe a year later, a neighbor told us, told me, that the one who bought our property, it's a three lot property. So the one who bought our three lots was selling it, the two lots, for the price, almost the same price as what we sold him, the three lots. So sabi ko sa mga kapatid ko, <laughs> we didn't know what the property was worth. Kaya pala ang tiyaga niyang mag-antay. He knew how much that property was worth. And so, he waited. And he now owns it. Our one big message for our talk today, um, disordered purity, is, is simple. You're more valuable than you think you are. If you don't know your worth, you're going to sell yourself cheap. You're going to sell yourself cheap. I want to read um, from the uh, story um, from Second Samuel. Before we read this, um, the first talk of um, looking for Mr. and Miss Right, we talked about Hosea and... Gomer, you remember that? And the second talk last week, we talked about um, Abraham and Sarah. And this week, we're talking about David and... Anong Goliath? <laughs> Anong Goliath? Looking for Mr. and Miss Right nga eh. Love story, Goliath, talaga. Sa bagay, alam, meron ako mga kilalang married people na parang David and Goliath sila sa kanilang tahanan. Okay, so we're going to read the story about David and Bathsheba. And you know, David um, was one of the greatest kings of Israel. He was, you know, as a boy, as a shepherd boy, he killed a lion. He killed, you know, all these wild animals. And then as a, as a young soldier, he defeated armies. And then as a commander-in-chief, he defeated the king of Israel, King Saul. But there was one battle that was so crucial that David lost. And that's what we're going to talk about this after this evening. So we're going to read from 2 Samuel 11, verse 1. And it says, In the spring, at the time when kings go off to war, David sent Joab out with the king's men and the whole um, Israelite army. But David remained in Jerusalem. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. At dyan po nagsimula ang ating telenovela. Okay? What happens is, you know, at the time when David was supposed to be knee-deep in battle, ang nangyari, he was left alone in his palace by himself without his, you know, without the people around him. And it was a perfect setup to fall into sin. And that's exactly what happened. Two things that make a perfect setup. First, you know, he was absent from battle. And second, he was alone. Many people, many of us fall when we're in that situation. You know, I know um, a friend who lost her, his family, his wife, his kids, because precisely because he found himself in a situation like this. And many people who fall into adultery are, do so because they find themselves in situations like these. So we're going to be talking about, we're going to be drawing lessons from the story of David and um, Bathsheba. And we're going to ask God to speak to our hearts, to speak through the lies, to, to break the chains, to enlighten the darkness in our hearts through our teaching today. Lord, let your light shine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my
Thank you, band. You may be seated. As you sit down, say, God will speak to me. Amen. Randy uh, Borromeo is our feast builder here at the uh, SM Aura Feast. Are there first timers in the house? Yeah, okay. Hi, uh, first timers. Um, usually, uh, it's a guy who stands here. Um, after me, it's usually Randy takes over, but he's um, in our couples retreat um, tonight. So uh, I'm, I'm pitching in for him. Also, baka kala nyo palaging mga babae ang nandito sa stage. We also have male, you know, um, uh, worship leaders. And paminsan-minsan lalaki din po yung nagda-drums dito. <laughs> okay, four lessons from David's story. First lesson is always be in battle. Can you say that with me? Okay, I just want to poll the, the, the room how many are singles? Can you make some noise, single people? Okay, yung mga single and taken? Ay! Ah, nahiya, ulit nga. Grabe, grabe, ulit, ulit, hindi ako magpapatalo. Ulit, 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 ha? Single people in the house, make some noise! Single and taken! Wala. <laughs> Kasi, taken na nga, for granted naman. Oh. Yung mga single and waiting. Ayun, mas marami. Sige, asa pa kayo. As Randy said, there is hope. Okay. And the married people? Yun! Mga pinakamasasaya, di ba? Kasi may awa ang Diyos. Amen. Okay. Always be in battle. Look at the story of David. At the time when kings go off to war, ano nga si David? He's a king, right? At the times when kings go off to war, where was David? He remained in Jerusalem. He was not where he was supposed to be. You know, it's so important that I always believe half of the miracle, you're praying for something, half of the miracle is showing up. Showing up at the right place and at the right time. And David was not where he was supposed to be at that time. Alam mo yung buhay natin, may mga seasons. May mga seasons. Um, people ask me, you know, I've written a number of dating books, and now and again, I will get this question. How do you know that he's the one? Or how do you know that she's the one? You know how I answer? I say, pag nag-abot kayo, na ready ka at ready siya, tapos nag-intersect yung path nyo at a space and time in continuum, <laughs> kayo na yun. Because that's a miracle in itself. What do I mean? Sometimes the girl is so ready to get married, her boyfriend is not. Diba? Minsan, ready, ready na yung lalaki. May sing-sing na, mag-propropose na. Ay, ayaw pa ng girl. Mag-aaral pa ako, magma-masters pa ako. Minsan, ready, ready ka na. Yung guy din, ready, ready na. Pero magkahiwalay kayo ng continents. Hindi kayo magkakilala. Huh? Diba? Diba? So, yung mag-intersect yan, that's part of the miracle already. Pero take note, hindi po lahat na nag intersect miracle. <laughs> Kala natin, baka, uy, siya na. Diba? Kaya, tayo, kaya natin inaaral itong mga bagay na ito. So at the time when David was supposed to be out in battle, he was not where he was supposed to be. You know, you cannot relax because evil never relaxes. You cannot relax. And when you take, you can take vacations, but you can never take a vacation from God. Let me tell you um, a story about um, my own experience. I've said this, I've shared this uh, in bits and pieces many times. But um, in two, uh, I, I used to live in a, in a community. I was living there full time. And uh, I lived there for 10 years. And there our life was just tailored to be, for you to be holy. You know, because you're a full-time servant. Ka eh. And, um, you know, our lives revolved, revolved around prayer, around service, around the Lord. We would pray one hour in the morning before going to Mass. 
every single day. And then we would spend the day, you know, working in ministry. And then at night, you know, prayer meeting or Bible study. And then after that, you know, I would even um, spend an extra 30 minutes, 45 minutes interceding for the world. Ay, grabe. Ang banal, no? Grabe. And everything was just standard. It was so easy to be holy in that place because our lives revolved around ministry. I had my first boyfriend in that community, when I was in that community, at the age of 33. So may pag-asa pa talaga. <laughs> may pag-asa. And you know, I gotta hand it to that guy. Huh? That guy was not from our community. But grabe, he jumped through the hoops, you know. He tumawid siya ng, ng alambre, kumain siya ng... Uh, apoy, lumunok siya ng bubog. Ganon talaga yung pi pinaghirapan niya sa padlilig panliligaw sa akin. And our, that community was so strict, he couldn't date me anytime he wanted. He could only take me out on Saturday afternoons. So imagine mo naman yung mama, bitin na bitin, di ba? So ang gagawin niya, attention ng Bible study, attention ng prayer meeting, attention ng intercession night. Kasi that, oh, well, that is an excuse to see me. Kasi hindi ako pwedeng lumabas. Tapos pag tumatawag siya, pag sa gabi, pag di kami magkita, or pag kauwi niya from the, the community service, di ba, tatawag siya. Kailangan siyang tatawag sa akin, hindi pwedeng akong tatawag sa kanya. Ha? Maria Clara kasi kami dun eh. Di ba? So, Eh, ang problema, yung mama, yung landline niya, prepaid. <laughs> Meron pa bang ganun ngayon? <laughs> Wala pa masya. Mas mahal pa yung cellphone nun eh. Yung tumawag ng cellphone. So imagine, pag nag out na yung load niya, yung akin naman, yung landline ko, hindi man prepaid. Pero pag nag out na yung load niya, tapos na, ligawan bukas ulit pagkatas mag-load. Ganun! Ganun, grabe, kawawa siya. Six months niya ako niligawan. No? Ngayon nga, may mga relationships, hindi man makatagal ng three months, di ba? Ito, six months niya ako niligawan. Kaya palagi niya akong tatanong yan dati, hindi ko pa siya sinasagot. Sabi niya, kailan mo ko sasagutin? Kailan mo ko sasagutin? Palagi yun na lang, naawa ako sa kanya, hindi ko rin alam kung, kung anong sagot ko sa kanya. Tapos nakita ko, nakarolex siya. Sabi ko sa kanya, bigay mo sa akin yung Rolex mo, give me a Rolex. And when you've forgotten about time, I will answer you. Nax! <laughs> diba? Pwede niya gamitin yun. Basta quote niyo lang ako. <laughs> so nung sinagot ko siya, binalik ko sa kanya yung Rolex niya. Uy, namiss ko tong relo na to, sabi niya. Ah, alam niya, sasagutin ko na siya. Six months later, halos, halos ano, kalakalawang na yung Rolex niya. No? <laughs> Pero it was so easy quote-unquote, to do that because I was, you know, I was surrounded. I was the head, you know, in that community, I was the head of the, the, the youth. I was, and then later, I was the head of the singles ministry. There were people looking up to me. There were people following me. So, everything we, I did there, ultimo haircut ko, pinapadiscern ko sa elders. Kasi baka magkamali, lahat sumunod sa akin. It was that kind. If I tell you the stories of, you know, from that community, you, you will not believe, you'll think I'm, uh, I'm making it up. But, <laughs> so I won't tell it, I won't tell you because it's stranger than truth. But really, it, it helped me to stay pure and holy and chaste in the relationship because there were so many people watching me. You know, George Gabriel, our feast builder from Bay Area who already migrated to the U.S., he used to love saying this, I mean, the ministry saves the minister. Sabihin nyo ngayon, <laughs> naintindihan nyo. <laughs> huh? The ministry, the reason why I was, you know, striving to be holy was because I was in ministry. Because I was serving the Lord. And there were people following me. But then, somewhere along the way, I left that community and for the first time in my life, for, you know, Many, many years, I had not been like that. That for the first time in my life, nobody was following me. I was in between that community and LOJ. At that time, LOJ was, um, didn't have the feast every week yet. The feast was um, once a month. 
'Di ba? Yung yo, alam mo yung once a month, yung yung payat na payat na yung yung kaluluwa mo, yung gutom na gutom ka pa. Tapos bigang bigang dumpa na ulit, feast ulit. <laughs> Praise God. 'Di ba? Yung ganun. <laughs> ganun. So at, and I was nobody in LOJ. Nobody was following me. Nobody I wasn't serving in any ministry. And then I had another boyfriend. And And I start, I reached that point when, uhaw na, uhaw na ako, teka lang po ah. I reached that point when I was renegotiating my, my morals. I was saying, no one's watching me. Who cares if I sleep with my boyfriend? Who's gonna know? Who's gonna care? Nobody, I'm not, I'm not serving anymore. And it was only by God's grace. It was only by God's grace. Because my boyfriend then wasn't even charismatic. The first time na nag-attention ng prayer meeting was with me at the feast. Dinadala ko siya sa feast. Ang dali lang dali, eh, no? Kasi once a month lang, eh. Diba? <laughs> And if not, if he was any less of a man, if he had not respected me and my my um, convictions and respected himself, I don't think, you know, we would have reached, I would have reached my wedding night of virgin. But it was by God's grace, even when nobody was watching, that I was able to hold on to the, the principles that I held on to for so long. So it's, it's when we, we, we always have to be in battle. We always have to be in battle. Um, that's why we encourage people to attend the feast and um, not attend the feast, but to serve. But to serve. You know, you come here and you, you know, you receive the That's fine. Your spirit is full. But come and serve. I have a friend who um, she's been annulled. Her marriage has been annulled for many, many years. And through the years, she has boyfriends, she, she's had boyfriends, ganyan. But then, in recent years, nagumpisa siya mag-serve sa kanyang parish. And uh, she, she began to serve as a lector commentator. And when she started serving, nagbabasa ng Word of God sa Misa, you know, she started to make her relationships chaste. And she said, nakakahiya naman kay Lord, tumatayo ako dito pag linggo. I read the Word of God, tapos may kalokohan akong ginagawa. That's why the ministry saves the minister. So come and serve, come and volunteer. Kasi baka pag uh, masungit ka, tapos mag-volunteer ka sa ushers ministry or greeters ministry, mahihiya ka magsungit. Di ba? Kasi kakahiya naman. Kasi, di ba? Parang, you get what I mean? So, um, that <laughs> always be in battle. Second lesson that we can Um, learn from David's stories, never leave your squad. Never leave your squad. David fell on that day because he was away from his comrades. He was alone. Nobody was watching him. Mag-isa siya sa palasyo. Diba? And um, uh, I, I wanna, this, there's this passage in 1 Peter 5, verse 8. Can you read with me? You know how lions attack? They always, kahit na gano, gano, gano sila kagutom, if an animal is in a herd, mag-iisip yan, ang tagal niyan mag-iisip. Mag-iisip na mag-iisip yan bago yan mag-attack ng isang herd. Pero pag mag-isa yung animal, ah, kahit di gutom yan, dadakmain ka niyan. So the rule of the jungle is, if you're alone, you're dead. If you're alone, you're dead. So that's why it's so important for us to be in community. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12 says, A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two, stand, what's that? two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. You know, you know how a triple braided cord, a three-ply cord looks like? You know, yung, yung pin, pinangtatali sa mga barko, mga pinangtatali sa, sa, sa um, bangka, dun sa, sa pier, di ba? 
It's a triple braided cord. Minsan makikita mo putol na yung isa, pero the boat, the ship stays moored. Why? Kasi it's not easily broken. May dalawa pa. Maputol yung isa, may dalawa pa. That's why it's so important that we're um, in a in a community. Um, uh, can you put that? Look at that. The two can stand back to back and conquer. There's a scene that I keep on saying that keeps repeating in my head. I don't know if, if it came from Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Smith. You remember that movie? Can somebody relate? Is that 10 years ago? Okay, parang wala nang may alam nun. Uh, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, no? There's a scene, they're standing back to back because they're surrounded by enemies. Tapos, nag, di ba? And they're protecting each other's back. Tama ba yun? O Avengers yun? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I lost you at Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Okay. <laughs> so, that's that's how it is when you're when you're in in a community. That's why um, you have to be part of a platoon and a squad. The difference with a platoon, a platoon when you're in the army, you're part of a platoon, and when you're part of a platoon, that means you have the same mission. So you train together, you sleep together, you eat together, and uh, a, a platoon is a maximum of 50 people, 50 soldiers. And if you think about your life, our lives revolve around 50, average of 50 people. Think about your family, yung kapitbahay mo, yung um, mga kasama mo sa opisina. Diba ka, even if you belong to a, a company that's a thousand um, people, employees strong, you know, you don't really interact with, <laughs> with all of them, right? So the, 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 the people in your, in your um, uh, office, uh, the people here in the, the feast, your community where you, you serve, so that's your platoon. You're together because you have the same mission. But you know what? Your mission will not always be the same. There are times when malilipat ka ng trabaho or ibang tao malilipat. Sometimes yung platoon natin is seasonal. ba? Seasonal. Um, and, uh, but then you're not just part of a platoon. You're also part of a squad. A squad is a smaller unit in your platoon, and it's a maximum of nine people. And these people are in your life. Your squad is not there because you have the same mission. They're there because you, because they are your mission, as you are their mission. Okay? Hindi na isang direksyon, kayo na. Isa't isa nag-aalagaan. And at that time when I left that community, I lost my friends, I lost people closest to me, people I, I considered my family. You know what? Where did I go back? I had been away from my family for 10 years at that time already. And for the, the 10 years that I was away, I hardly kept in touch. But when I left that community, saan ako bumalik? Sa pamilya ko. No questions asked. Ayan, oh, may kwarto para sa'yo. No question. Hi, wala, hindi, walang, o oh, ka na dito? O oh, ba't bumabalik ka? Umalis ka dito, isang maleta lang. Ngayon, pagbalik mo, 16 boxes na dala mo. Kala mo, nanggaling ng ibang bansa, no? No questions asked. So your squad is like that. Your squad is your group that gives you unconditional love. Imperfect, unconditional love. Because we, we don't know how to love unconditionally. Only God knows to, how to do that. But these are the people who, even if you failed again and again and again, mamahaling ka pa rin nila. For most of us, that's our family. For me, aside from my family, I have my LG. My LG, um, we've, be, we've been together since that time before the feast was a weekly gathering. Um, I'm part of the LG of Randy and Bo and um, all our, our feast, uh, practically all our feast builders in in Mega Manila, the, the heads of the districts in Mega Manila. Those are my LG and their wives. And they know, they know me. Yung baho ko, yung baho nila, alam ko rin. But we just, you know, we've, we've provided a safe place for each other. And it's, it's tough for leaders. It's tough for leaders because they, they always say, you know, it, uh, it's lonely at the top. But in our LG, we're able to let our hair down, except Brother John Escoto, kasi wala siyang hair. <laughs> For sure, Brother Alvin Barcelona, kasi mahaba ang hair niya. But we, we let our hair down. We, you know, we're able to confess our sins to one another and find acceptance. Walang, 
hindi yung ay grabe na sira yung tingin ko sa iyo kasi leader ka rin please feel the cat ganyan ka mag-isip o yan nagawa mo yan wala walang judgment walang ganun and so you need to be part of a squad like that you know um here we have um light groups uh and uh, mon was uh, talking about that before the mass so i want you to i want to encourage you if you ha do not have a light group yet please sign up it will do wonders for your growth it will do wonders for your sanity it will do wonders for your life because your squad will be that safe place that will you know here we come we're 200 people here sometimes 250 pero hindi naman natin lahat nakakausap you know if you drop out next week nobody will notice if you're not part of a squad or if you're not part of an LG but when you're a part of an LG merong uy sis kamusta ka na uy bro kamusta yung ano yung deal na pinagpe-pray natin you know merong nangangamusta sa yo merong somebody knows you somebody knows you so please uh, we're going to have sign up sheets outside for those um uh, uh who want to be part of an LG so never leave your squad lesson number 3 that I want to share with you. Um, defeat the enemy while he's still small. Second Samuel 11 verse 2. From the roof, David saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful and David sent someone to find out about her. Tignan nga ulit yung passage na yun. David saw a woman bathing. He should have stopped there. He should have stopped there. Di ba tayo, pag pumasok tayo ng banyo, tas may tao, ay, sorry. Di ba ganon? Di ba? Natural na reaction. Pero ano ginawa ni David pagpasok niya? Uy, may naliligo. Fancy meeting you alone in this place. Ha? Diba? He should have stopped there, but no, he didn't. What did he do? He sent someone to find out about her. About malaman nga, sino ba ito naliligo dito? May isa lang siya, walang nanonood sa kanya. Diba? So, he finds out her name. Next passage. Uh, the man said, She is Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam and the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Nyo, ha? She is Bathsheba. Walang hit sa NBI. NBI clearance, cleared. Okay? Yung mga sa inyo na yung mga family names nyo, very common. Pangalanan nyo ng Bathsheba, yung anak nyo. Okay. She's Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, and the wife of Uriah. Again, David should have stopped there. May sing sing. Kaya may sing sing yan. Sign yan eh. Di ba? Pag may sing sing yung lalaki, may asawa. Pag may sing sing yung babae, may asawa. Ano ibig sabihin nitong sign na to? Stop. Stop. Don't flirt. <laughs> may mga tao nakita ng may sing sing nakipag-flirt pa. Pero walang preno, walang preno. So ayan na ang nangyari kay David. Ha, okay. So sabi niya, kape lang naman. Ano ba naman yung kape? Magkape lang kami sandali. Wala naman yun, kape. So nagkape sila. Obviously, hindi lang huminto sa kape. Masarap siguro yung kape. No? Kasi a few weeks later, Verse 3, sabi, the woman conceived and sent word to David saying, I am pregnant. Yung mga couples dito na nagpe-pray for a baby, magkape kayo. <laughs> the point is, big sins don't start big. Say it with me, big sins don't start big. They always start small. They always start small. Sirach 21 verse 2, Flee from sin as from a serpent that will bite you if you go near it. Its teeth are lion's teeth destroying the souls of men. Sino ang nakakita ng ahas, snake, sawa, boa constrictor? Ay, ang cute! Ang cute! Tingnan ko lang! I have a friend who had a... Uh, uh, 
um, ano ba yung sawa sa in English? Python. That was the, I've been thinking of that the whole week. Python. <laughs> Makakatulog na ako ngayon. <laughs> My friend had a python for a pet. I think it was 13 feet long. So I got serious. Yeah, you know, nandiyan sa basement. Talaga. Pet. Ang ahas, hindi pet. You know, one day, yung kanyang pet, nakita yung isa pa niyang pet. Yung aso niya. And you know what the python did? Pinuluputan yung aso and it was constrict that the dog was already choking and he was trying to hit the, the snake so it would let go but it wouldn't. So before the dog died, he just grabbed the dog and the, the snake and threw it hard against the wall at yun. Nag-untangle yung, yung sawa. And for two weeks, he just kept the snake by itself in his basement para lumamig daw yung ulo kasi ito seething. It was seething. Ang snake hindi po pet. Kaya nga ahas ang tawag dyan eh. Ahas yan eh. Aahasin ka niyan eh. <laughs> diba? So pag nakita mo na, flee from sin as from a, a serpent, hindi magiging cute yan. Promise. You know, <laughs> Defeat the enemy while he's small. True story. Um, uh, I have a relative, and she was telling me she's happily married. And um, one time, she had a colleague in her office, and um, you know, coffee break, nakaimbitahan sa kape, kape na naman. <laughs> and there was a cafe across their their office, you know, and you know, naging habit na every coffee break, nagko coffee sila dun sa tapat, no? And, you know, for her, it, you know, it was so harmless. It was so harmless. And she would even tell her husband, Oy, nagkape kami ni David kanina. <laughs> diba? Si King David, <laughs> nagkape kami. Uh, and, you know, and it was so harmless. Until one day, one morning, she was getting dressed for work, and she caught herself because she was carefully choosing the dress that she was gonna wear, and she was carefully putting on makeup in anticipation of coffee break. And the minute she caught herself, she just knew, I gotta stop this. I gotta stop. I, ca I have to nip this in the bud. And she confessed it to her husband. Walang holding hands, ah. Walang gooey eye staring. Walang sharing of coffee cup. Walang affair. But she just caught herself because there was already something in her heart, in her thoughts. That's why Jesus thought so strongly about our thoughts. In Matthew 5, verse 27, sabi, Jesus said, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Why was Jesus talking like this? Because thoughts are things. Thoughts are things. Yang mga silya na inuupuan nyo, hindi naman, may nakaisip niyan eh. Dati thought lang yan eh. Pero may nakaisip na mag-design. Gawa kayo tayo ng silya na ganito yung may foam. Kasi yung monoblock matigas. Diba ito ma matibay bakal. Tapos lagyan natin ng damit. Diba yung, yung damit na fitting para mas maganda. May nakaisip bago siya naging thing. So thoughts are things. So defeat the enemy while he's still small. You know, while I'm on this topic, I want to talk about purity. Because people think that purity is not watching, you know, um, porno, not looking at porn, not uh, uh, ha going into adultery, not masturbating or whatever. But really, purity is valuing yourself. Purity is agreeing with God that you're as valuable as he says you are. That's what purity is. You know, somebody emailed me before. She was a, a, a young woman, single very successful, had a, you know, high-paying job in a very good company, and she had, she had a car, she had a condo, you know, she, everything was going great for her. But she was having an affair with a mar married man, and she told me this, and she said she's the kind of girl who would sleep around, who would, 
you know, do one night stands. Somebody, she'll meet somebody at the bar and she would sleep with that guy. And then she gave a question at the end. She asked me a question that was hard to answer because she said, will I ever find someone who will commit to me for a lifetime? And with all the niceness I could muster, I answered, ah, no, no, you will not find forever that way. For a night, yes, you will find for a night. But if you want forever, you will not find it that way. Then I told her the story about my jewelries. Kita niyo ba? Dami kong jewelry. Suot ko na lahat. Yan na yan lahat. I said, you know, I have a, I have cheap jewelry. I have a lot of cheap jewelry. But I don't keep that. You know, I don't keep it well. It's just lying around for everybody to see. You know, it's just, it's not locked. It's, kasi pag nawala, okay lang eh. Di ba? Cheap. Cheap naman eh, madali palitan. Pero yung totoo kong mga alahas, ay nako, hindi ko yan pinagsiswimming. <laughs> Di ba? E, you know, yun yung type na sinusuot ko lang yan pagkasal. Di ba? Hindi kasal ko, kasal ng iba, <laughs> tapos na ako. Di ba? Diba? And, and pag tinanggal ko yan, hindi ko yan binababa lang sa tukador ko tapos iiwan ko lang doon. Hindi, pag tinanggal ko yan, diretsong tago. Bakit? Kasi it's precious. ba? Diba? Iniingatan mo kasi alam mo mahal. Alam mo, yung, 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 yung mga totoo kong jewelry, I keep it under lock and key. I keep it yung may dipihit. Alam nyo yun? Yung, yung garapo ng mayonnaise, doon ko tinatago yun. You keep it because it's precious. If a guy did not work hard for you, you like cheap jewelry, okay lang mawala. Kasi hindi ko naman pinaghirapan yan. Eh. Pero pag pinaghirapan ka ng lalaki, ay nako, kita niyo umiyak yun ng ligaw sa akin ng six months. <laughs> Kasi pinaghirapan. Why are there men who take care of their cars more than their wives? Kasi yung kotse, pinaghirapan nila. Pinagpawisan nila yung kotse na yun hanggang naging kanila every month for five years. Ginapang nila yung payment dun. Yung misis nila, ah, nakuha na lang nila yun eh. Hinabol sila nun eh. You see? You see? So you have to see the value. You have to see your value. And you cannot give away your purity just to anybody because sex is so beautiful. It's so sacred. It's so pure. Sex is so total in its self-donation. It's designed to be given to the one person who has already made a marital covenant with you. Mahal po! Mahal po ang sex! Bakit? Kasi dapat bayaran ka ng forever. Ito yung presyo. Para makuha yung purity mo, dapat ito ang presyo. Kailangan lifetime commitment. Somebody who is willing to give his entire life for you and your family. Now, I wanna, I know that there are some, I hope not many, people in this place that have already lost their virginity. I'm not just talking to the women here, I'm talking to the men also. Because we live in a double standard society where it's not okay for the woman to be not of to, to be virginized, pero yung man okay lang, dapat lang na hindi virgin yung lalaki. No, in the sight of God. You know what? Brothers, you're also the bride of Christ. Do you realize that? When Jesus comes, you and I, whether you're a man or a woman, we are the bride of Christ. So we have to be pure for our groom, for our bridegroom. So it's not okay. It's not okay. And if you've already lost your purity, I know there are some women, they think this way, or some men, they think this way. Eh, used goods na naman ako, ba't pa ako magpapakalinis? Kung baga sa baboy eh, nandiyan na, na naman ako, naputi ka na naman ako, eh, diyan na lang ako sa putik. Di ba? Magtampisaw na lang ako sa putik. Hello? Yung baboy nga pinapaliguan eh. Di ba? Ikaw pa. Di ba? If we think that way, wag ka na mag-toothbrush sa gabi. 
Kasi the whole day, kumain ka, onions, garlic, bad breath, di ba? Pagdating mo sa bahay, sa gabi, bago ka matulog, ba't ka pa magtututbrush? Eh bukas naman, pagising ko, bad breath din ako. Di wag na ako magtutbrush. Di ba? No. You know, a diamond, kahit na nakalubog yan sa putik, it's still worth what it's worth. Tell me, may nag-abot sa'yo ng 3,000 pesos, bonus para sa ano, clothing allowance sa opisina. Sinaksak mo dito sa likod ng pocket mo, tapos nagpunta ka ng banyo, nalimutan mo yung bonus mo na sa nasa pants mo, and then you use the toilet, and then just when you're flushing, you see, ay, ang bonus ko! Anong gagawin mo? Pa-flush mo? Mm, aminen! Anong gagawin mo? Hindi ba ilulublub mo yung kamay mo? Doon? Sa toilet? Sa halagang 3,000 pesos? Na kaya mo namang kitain? How much were you bought? How much were we bought? We were bought by the blood of Jesus. We were bought by the blood of Jesus. We are more precious than diamonds because Jesus gave his life for us. So secondary purity, there's such a thing as second virginity. And it's something that we can ask the Lord for. You know, if you ha you're in a relationship right now and you're, you know, your relationship is not chaste, you can say, Lord, I'm going to start today. Talk to your partner. If your partner is here, both of you, start today. Because you're diamonds. Naputikan man lang kayo. You can wash yourself clean. Um, I'm so over time, pero late naman si Father Alex, so may excuse ako. <laughs> but I really just have to say this single people listen set your the bar of purity high I've shared this before I'm gonna share it again men are irons women are light bulbs ano ibig sabihin yan yung plancha isaksak mo iwanan mo sa taas ng tela ilang minuto lang butas na yung tela na yan but light bulb sige nga Tingnan mo kung gaano katagal ilang oras bago makabutas 'yan. So, you think, ladies, you think, ay, malapit pa ako doon, malapit, ma malayo pa ako doon, malayo pa ako doon, okay lang, okay lang. Pero hindi mo alam, yung yung kala mong malayo, nandoon na pala yung partner mo. Because men are irons. They heat up faster and you're a light bulb. You get me? Buti pa yung bata, naiintindi. Nahirapan na ako mag-explain eh. <laughs> thank you. Married people, raise your hands. Okay, thank you. Single people, raise your hands and put it to your ears. That's why men, husbands, kailangan romansahin si misis. Because mainit na kayo, hindi pa mainit yung light bulb. Okay? Huh? It takes a while. So set the bar, single people, set the bar of purity high. Okay, um, number, uh, you're more valuable than you think you are. Fourth lesson, never cover up a defeat. What did David do? You know, when you lose a battle, it doesn't mean that you lost the war. If you lost your virginity, it doesn't mean you've lost it forever. Again, as I said, there's such a thing as secondary virginity. In the morning, David wrote a letter to Joab, his commander-in-chief, and sent it with Uriah. Actually, nung nabalitaan ni David that Bathsheba was pregnant, what did he, he do? He said, ay, teka, teka, kaya kong solusyonan to. Okay, okay. Pauwiin natin si Uriah. Let's call Uriah back from battle because if he comes back, he'll sleep with Bathsheba and then he's gonna think that the baby is his. So that's what he did. Unfortunately, Uriah was such an upright man. He went back because David called him. He did not go home. He said, how can I sleep with my wife? My, my comrades are out in battle. So he slept in the palace. So lagot na yung plan ni David. So what did he do? To cover up his sin, he wrote 
um, Joab at pinadala pa dun sa pobreng Uriah. In it, he wrote, put Uriah out in front where the fighting is fiercest, then withdraw from him so he will be struck down and die. Did, did you see, can you see the snowball of events? Did, did, you, did you notice? It started from something so small. He was not where he was supposed to be. At the times when kings went to war, David was not where he was supposed to be. But it snowballed into something so big. It became adultery. It didn't stop in adultery. It stopped with murder. Never hide. Never hide your sin. If you cover up sin, sin will get even bigger. Proverbs 28.13 says, He who conceals his sins prospers not, but he who confesses and forsakes them obtains mercy. Thank God I'm Catholic. Thank God we're Catholics because there is always mercy waiting for us in the sacrament of reconciliation. And we take it for granted, really, how many times, you know, we ma mass, we go at least 52 times in a year if there are 52 Sundays, if, there, if it's not a leap year, diba? But confession, how many times do we confess in a year? How many times? Do you know my sister, she's part of the exorcism ministry of Father Josie Sikia, and they really deal with possessed. Alam niyo mga, mga horror movies, yung mga uh, exorcist, yung mga ganon, it's worse than that. I mean, those are true. The things that you watch on in those horror movies, this is scarier because it's real life. But she said, and she told me this, she said, one confession is more powerful than an exorcism. Wow. Wow. One confession is more powerful than an exorcism. Why? Because a confession is a sacrament. It's something that Jesus instituted. The seven sacraments that we have, all of those Jesus instituted while he was alive. The exorcism is a sacramental it's a sign. It's not one of the seven sacraments. So when you go to confession, there is power. There is grace. There is forgiveness. There is washing. There is cleanliness. You know, when I, I, I remember during those times when I was struggling, I would go to um, Father Steve. Father Steve Tainan was already my spiritual director, and he was already the spiritual director of the Light of Jesus community. And I would come to him, and I would say, Father Steve, I'm going to confess again. And it's the same sin. And you know what he said? Y you know, the reason why we're we, we don't like going to confession, kasi minsan, paulit-ulit yung kasalanan natin, eh, di ba? Nakakahiya. Nahihiya na tayo kay Father. Kaya naghahanap tayo ng confessional na merong, alam mo yun, yung may screen, yung hindi nakikita yung mukha mo, tapos pag magkakonfess ka, yung papalitan mo pa yung voice mo, yung, uh, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. <laughs> di ba? Parang in the hope na hindi ka ma-recognize ni Father. Diba? Pero ito si Father Steve talagang tab magkatabi kami. And I said, Father Steve, I'm just, I'm gonna confess the same sin again. And you know what he said? He said something that blew me away. He said, what sin? I can't remember your sins. I'm not allowed to remember your sins. Because when God forgives your sins, your slate is wiped clean. Your slate is wiped clean, and I cannot, I cannot remember your sins. <sighs> okay, I'm going to tell you, Father. <laughs> but really, that's the power. That's the power of confession. I'm going to call the music ministry and the worship leader here. You're more powerful valuable. You're more valuable than you think you are. Can I ask you to stand? Stop. Let's just stop covering up whatever our sin is. Because we are precious in God's sight. We are we are diamond. And if we come to Jesus, no matter how sin-stained we are, no matter how covered in mud and dirt and filth, God says, 
though your sins be like scarlet, I will make you as white as snow. Thank you, Jesus. is overwhelmed and I cannot hear your voice I hold on to what is true though I cannot see if the storms of life become and the road ahead gets steep I will lift these hands in faith I will believe I remind myself of all that you've done And the life I have because of your son Love came down and rescued me Love came down and set me free I am yours, I am forever yours Mountain high, valley low I sing out a mind my soul I am yours, I am 
are going to pray for our dreams. If you guys have the Navina to God's love, I want to invite you all to raise it up. If not, you can place your hands, lift up your hands, or place them on your heart. Father, we come before you with these dreams that you planted in our hearts. Father, we know that you know what we long for, our, the desires of our heart, Father, and we know that in every step of the way, you will be with us. Father, lead us to the right people, to the right opportunities, Father. And we claim, we claim, Lord, that you will, you will just bring us the right opportunities and that you will lead us to where we should be, Father, because you planted these dreams in our hearts. But Father, we, we know that your ways are higher than ours. Your dreams for us are bigger, bigger than ours, Lord God. And we know that as long as our faith is anchored on you and our value, now we're worth this anchored on you alone. That all these dreams, Father, all these dreams will come true. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. again first timers raise your hands if there's a first timer beside you say hi welcome to this place and we're gonna ask you can we just briefly pray for the first timers lord we pray for these first timers we ask you lord god that you may give them a special blessing for being here uh, in this place tonight lord and we pray that they may find a home here at the feast every week whatever their prayer is lord we pray that you may granted in Jesus name amen amen and um, if you could just stay the first timers for a, a, a couple of minutes we have a gift for you after the prayer meeting after the feast we have a we're, we're you're gonna see somebody here with a signed first timers we have a gift for you and we want to welcome you personally ladies single this Valentine's Day <laughs> okay okay um, yeah, please be seated. Uh, we have a special guest. Kita niyo ba tong magandang dilag na to? Okay, this is Maan Mencias, a friend of mine, and I. Uh, she has a wonderful book that she just wrote, and um, she's launching it here. Single people again, I want to hear you. Yeah, why is my forever taking forever? Kung yari di ko pa alam yung laman, kasi kung yari di ako nag-edit ni tong wonderful book na ito, no? Na ako pinaka una. Na nakabase. You know, that's the, that's the perk of my job. I get to read the good books first. So, single people, if you have not, I'm sure you haven't read this. Kayo ba nag-edit nito? Hindi, di ba? So, uh, Maan is here. Um, she's visiting us. She's gone around the different feasts. And, um, sige, pasalitain kita. Palagay mo. <laughs> So, napakaswerte ko kasi si Sisrisa yung nag-edit ng book ko. Sinulat ko po yung book because I wanna set people free the way God has set me free in my single season. Na-realize ko na nag before pala kaya ang dami kong choices na hindi nag-reflect that I'm God's diamond because I had a wound. It's a father wound and I think so many people also have the same wound. And God set me free from that father wound. He healed my relationship with my dad. So, mas ready na ako sa dawan. Kasi kung hindi niya ako hinil, baka dinala ko lang yung woundedness na yun sa dawan ko. And He revealed my purpose. So many people get together without knowing yet their purpose. And gulo-gulo. 
Uh, so, God revealed to me master mission and mate is his order for rela rela romantic relationships. And this is my hope that more singles will really be loved and made whole by God so that more children will grow up the way God designed them to grow up. Yung. Thank you. Um, parents, titos, titas, please buy this for your um, single millennial relatives because they need to read what's in this book. Ganda, ganda ni Ma, ano? Ganda ng alahas mo. Nilalagay mo ba yung sagara po ng mayonnaise? Okay. Uh, keep it well, ha? Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, when you when you buy, Maan can um, sign your books. So write your names on the pieces of paper there para tama ang spelling uh, ng pangalan nyo. Okay. Huh? Oh, we're raffling two books? Okay, don't forget to write your name in your um, love offering envelope because they're gagawin nating gagawin nating ano bond raffle yung LO envelopes nila tama. We're gonna pick two names pero hindi naman kasama dun yung LO nila no yung pagwalanan laman yung envelope okay. So we're gonna pick two people who'll be giving their from the love offering envelopes. We're gonna give you a uh, um, book. Uh, from Maan today. So this is on a, a special price because when you uh, buy this um, outside after Maan does her launching tour, it will be, what, 350. So today it's only 300 pesos. Okay, now playing the youth hangout. Uh, now playing movie. Oh, they're watching the Queen of Katwe. I've seen that movie. It's a great movie. Um, so the youth hangout in the other room so bring your young people, your teenagers, your tweens. Because if they find the talks here, um, you know, if they find the, the peace builder too old, hindi po ako si Randy. Diba? <laughs> Pwede silang pumunta sa kabila because we have a youth hangout there and they're watching a movie. Okay, Camp Kalia Unafraid. This is the LOJ Youth Summer Camp. This is for the young people in high school and college. May 2 to 5. Um, happening at Alta Rios Resort, Cavite. You know, if you have young people, you don't know how to reach them. Actually, this is one of the secrets of the light of Jesus. Our youth camp is so much fun. People come because they just want to have fun. The kids come because they just want to, you know, play and um, do all these nice activities at the youth camp, but they end up finding Jesus. So if you have young people, you don't know how to, either they're uninterested in mass, they're uninterested in the sacrament, you know, take them to this, um, our youth camp, and I'm sure they're gonna find Jesus there. Okay, um, our 10th anniversary is coming up. Uh, when you're claiming a dream, you have to claim it with passion, an unrelenting, unmistakable passion. But apart from that, you have to work on it with such fire that the dream becomes unmistakably yours. Such is the process of living life to the full. On May 17, the Feast Makati in Taguig District, Lights of Fire, meant to be shared with you all. Our 10th year. So it's a decade. We're celebrating a decade of loving, worshiping, testifying, serving, and celebrating God's word and God's love. So save the date, May 17, um, 7 p.m. at the Circuit Makati Activity Center. I think May 17 is a Friday. So join us and experience what it means to have life to the full. Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, please do join our uh, ministries. Join, be a part of a ministry outside. You'll find ministry sign-ups. If you want to be part of the music ministry, the band, uh, our uh, visual um, team, uh, our design team, our well, ang dami, ang dami po. So you can just go um, outside and please be part of a ministry. Uh, always be in battle. And be part of our light groups. I've mentioned that. Uh, be part of a squad. You can also sign up. We're doing new sign-ups for this um, coming days. And join, uh, follow us uh, uh, in social media. Uh, feasts. Ano ba yan? Sorry, hindi ako marunong magbasa ng mga hashtag slash whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pray over and shepherding. If you need prayer, if you need um, to talk to somebody, need some advice, uh, you may go to the back of the room and uh, we have somebody there who can pray over you and shepherd you. Okay, so we've reached the um, part of our uh, feast where we, we uh, pray for our prayer requests. Um, before we do this, because uh, when we pray this, I'm going to go straight into the love offering. And I just want to share with you um, the story of the 
the story of the Philippians. The story of the Philippians. You know, uh, lahat tayo merong bank account, tama? Sinong, saan kayo nagbabangko? Doon sa nagpa-find ways, yung sa, marami iba-ibang mga bangko, di ba? Pero, alam nyo ba na meron tayong heavenly account? And this is what St. Paul talks about in the book of Philippians. Because um, when he was doing his mission, his missionary journeys, he was saying in Philippians 4 that it was only the Philippian church, the church in Philippi that, that supported him, supported him financially for his ministry. And so he was, he was um, thanking them. And um, he's, it says here, uh, let me read in Philippians 4. Sabi niya, uh, in the early days of the gospel, as you of Philippi well know, this is in Philippians 4 verse 15, when I left Macedonia, no church other than yourselves made common account with me in the matters of expenditure and receipts. You were the only ones. And what is more, you have twice sent me what I needed in Thessalonica. It is not the gift that I value most. What I value is the interest that is mounting up in your account. Meron tayong investment sa langit. Meron tayong investment. You know, this, this part of the feast where we, we ask for love offerings and we give our love offerings, this is not just, you know, nothing. This is not talo. This is not pawala. Because here, God's word says, there is interest that is accumulating in your account up in heaven. Amen? So I encourage you to keep giving. I encourage you to be generous. And um, we're gonna have our, uh, our you have your envelopes. Don't forget to write your name because we're gonna pick two winners from that. So I wanna ask you to stand and we're gonna pray for our prayer requests. There are people, see Janelle is praying for good health for her parents and gra grandparents. Divine is praying for a new job. Melba is praying for the board exam of uh, her son, Miguel. So we're going to pray for that. And we're also giving thanks um, for a good start for our family business, for the successful operation um, last year of Louise, and for the successful um, selling of our lot. That's Trixie. I hope you sold it at the right price. <laughs> and uh, let's just lift up our envelopes. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the chance to give back to you because you always, always, every single moment give to us. So we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to give. We pray for all the people who need our prayers, those who need healing, those who need a job, those who um, need wisdom, guidance, direction. We thank you, Lord. And we pray, Lord God, that you may um, use our love offerings that you would multiply these, that you would use it, Lord, to extend your kingdom, to widen our territory, Lord, to bring the good news to more people and to help more people, to change more lives, all for your greater glory. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. With a smile, bring your love offerings to God. And we're going to have free coffee after the feast, so stay, stick around.
voice we say glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and never shall be world without end. Amen. God bless you everyone. See you next Saturday.